Australia's coronavirus cluster in the state of New South Wales has expanded. That's a major blow to a country that had largely suppressed community transmission, but has now prompted authorities to announce tighter restrictions during the New Year period. Sydney's New Year's Eve celebrations with dazzling firework displays bursting from the Sydney Harbour Bridge will be more subdued this year. As new social distancing restrictions were announced on Wednesday in a bid to curb a new coronavirus cluster. Household gatherings were limited to just five people and public gatherings have been capped at 30. Residential care facilities were also closed to visitors. New South Wales State Premier Gladys Berejiklian urged people to stay at home for New Year's celebrations to avoid a super spreading event. But we don't want New Year's Eve to be a situation where undetected cases, people who may be in the very early stages of the disease and not know they've got it, not know they're infectious, unintentionally give it to those closest to them. 18 new COVID-19 cases were reported on Wednesday, the biggest daily increase in a week. Half were linked to an outbreak in Sydney's northern beaches that's now grown to more than 100 people over the past week. Another cluster has also sprung up on the inner west side of Sydney, with six members of an extended family testing positive. Live viewings of this year's fireworks will be limited only for people with confirmed hospitality bookings and a permit. And as for the fireworks, the usual 9pm display has been cancelled altogether and their annual midnight display will be reduced to just seven minutes.